brother-in-law has a place right in Exeter, right on this, right overlooking. But I was not there. Good evening. We're, we're on. Good evening. Welcome to the uh, December 5th meeting of the New Market Town Council. We begin, as always, with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And uh, I'll start by saying we've. Uh, had a couple of people hit by illness and uh, somebody else that's away on business, so we're missing uh, Councillor Burns and uh, Councillor Finch, and uh, Councillor Bowden will be is on the phone. And I have a couple of questions to ask you, Councillor Bowden. Uh, is there anybody else in the room with you? Okay, that's that's sufficient, and I just uh, we understand you're a bit under the weather, and we appreciate that you're not here, even though <laughs> normally we'd be glad to have you here. Well, thank you very much. That. Okay, and uh, with that, we move on uh, and uh, start with a public forum. Is there anybody from the public who would like to make a comment? I always say that anyways, but <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay, and with, uh, with that, we close the public hearing at 7.02. And uh, next, we move on to acceptance of minutes. I'd accept a motion to approve the minutes of our budget workshop on October 27th. I will make a motion to approve the minutes of the meeting October 27th. Second. Does anybody have any changes to those minutes? Correction, uh, or corrections or uh, clarifications. They See? were incredibly detailed. It's good to have those records. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's like, was that what we said? Yeah, I kind of remember. <laughs> yeah. uh, please call the roll. Council Dumont? Aye. Council Cast? Aye. Council Bowden? Aye. Council Weinstein? Aye. Council Pike? Aye. Motion passes 5 6 0. Thank you. And, and by the way, I should have mentioned that our town administrator is uh, away at a conflicting meeting this evening, and uh, his assistant is ably filling in. Thank you. Uh, and I with ask a question? Sure. Did you say 6 0? 5 0. Thank you. Okay. There you go. I thought I was miscounting. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm next, to ask for a motion to approve the minutes of our meeting last uh, on November 7th. Make a motion to approve the minutes of the November 7th meeting. Second. Okay. Is there any corrections or clarifications for those minutes? Seeing none, please call the roll. Uh, I actually, I have one okay. clarification. I may want to add, if possible, to line 141. Okay. And it speaks to the funding from DES for the Tucker McIntosh Wells. Okay. But Sean also mentioned that the DES funds would include the South Main Street and Bay Road projects as well. Okay. Is that something that should be in the minutes or not? Absolutely. I think we could ask Steve to look at that. As, if you'd like, Kyle, would that be sufficient if Steve was to review that? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Because I'm not sure. I don't. 141, 142. Yeah, I'm looking at it, and I don't have a clear memory of how that conversation went. So he could he could check that and make sure it's correct. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you. And you know, with that point of clarification, are there any other? Other corrections or clarifications? If not, please call the roll. Council Duma? Aye. Council Cast? Aye. Council Bowden? Aye. 
Councilor Weinstein? Aye. Councilor Pike? Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Uh, next, are there any committee reports? Yes. I have one from the Planning Board. Okay. Uh, from their 11-13-18 meeting. Uh, there was favorable remarks on the budget workshop and CIP process. So I just want to pass that along as well. Um, other than that, there were a couple of applications. One was uh, tape, uh, set, set aside for the next meeting, and the other one was uh, passed, uh, including a, a grandfather, the grandfathering of the permit for the gravel pit involved. This is the Rosa property? Yes, yes. Um, then there was some um, discussion about uh, the upcoming updates to the master plan uh, to be discussed at the December meeting. That will be next week. Um, and um, the town planner remarked that there are some RSAs, such as on energy conservation, which, which could be added as new chapters. Um, she was definitely in favor, uh, strongly in favor, I and mean, strongly, I think, promoting um, transportation, since that's a big issue in the town, to add a chapter for that. And maybe facilities, too, because we have a facility structure that might be good. Um, but I wanted to bring the energy conservation one to Councilor Weinstein's attention. I don't know if you want to maybe touch base with the, the planner about that, or, or the chair, co-chair. Um, so, uh, let's see. Also, the vice chair, uh, she, she remarked that she wants um, to focus on chapters that the board thinks should be in there versus keeping others that are just sitting there. So I think there's, she wants to have a focus on it, having some some more meaning to the process rather than just doing it because we have to. Okay. So, and that adding value. So, so, yeah, so the next meeting is next next week. And you'll be there? Yes. Oh, also, um, there's also the uh, the um, subcommittee on stormwater regulations is starting up as well, and that'll be next week, next Thursday night, I think, as well. And I. I I think you're on that. Yeah, I'm on it. That's why I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Great. Thank you. Oh, I have a couple. Do you want to go first? No, go ahead. Okay. So, uh, first things first, uh, the Water Rights Subcommittee will be meeting next Wednesday, 7 o'clock, right here. Officially, we're, we're on this time, I promise. Um, this should be our last meeting uh, before we come to the town council with the decision that uh, the subcommittee had determined. Um, following that, our last meeting at the Budget Committee, which is the 26th, so last Monday, we went over the town's budget. Obviously, we <laughs> all know the details to it. Biggest thing that came out of the meeting was that the Budget Committee was very, very impressed with um, what we brought to them, the work that Steve did, the work that the department heads did, as well as the um, real thoughtful consideration that we took into when it came to CIP projects. You know, there's um, been some change in how the town council, uh, town council as a whole approaches the CIP process and how we include their recommendations to us. All in all, it was like you know, two thumbs up, very pleased with what we had, which I think is good news for us. <laughs> yes, I would agree. I, um, I don't know if it's been made public. I'm assuming it is, but we do have our tentative schedule set forth. Our next meeting that's going to be coming up is, will be December 10th. That will be the school district budget work session. And then the next Monday after that, the 17th, we have for the town budget hearing. So, any questions? Right on. I am finished. Thank you. Thank you. I have one. Go ahead. So the Energy and Environment Advisory Committee met last night, and this is the first meeting that we've had in a couple of months. Um, in October, we had, uh, in lieu of our regular meeting, the button-up presentation, and then in November, we didn't hold a meeting because of the election, um, so that fell on our regular scheduled meeting day. Um, so we met yesterday to... Um, touch base as a committee and discuss kind of some of the things that we accomplished over the last year. So to look at, back at the last year and then look forward for goals for uh, 2019. Um, so we set some goals for the coming year. And one of the things that I um, that came out of that meeting 
that I'll be talking to Steve about and eventually hopefully the council is we've had a really hard time getting representation from the planning board and from the conservation committee um, so I think that what we're going to suggest is we know that there's other uh, people who would be interested in being on the committee at large members so changing the makeup of of that committee I think would make a lot of sense. We need more manpower um, ultimately. So that's where we're at. Okay. I think that's all the committee reports. I just am, I skipped over the town administrator's report, perhaps because the town administrator isn't here, but it is worth pointing out for people, for anybody in the public that hasn't heard that there was uh, in, announced in this previously, but also in his report is there are a couple of significant grants that uh, new markets received one for the uh, splash pad that will pay 50 percent it looks like towards that splash pad as i understand it from here um which is a, a recreation will provide a, a cool place for kids to play in uh, in our recreation department and the other one is a a very successful partnership with the nature conservancy for um, improvements to the culvert reconstruction of a culvert on Bay Road in the Lubberland Creek area, which is uh, was, it's going to do a lot of good things environmentally. So those were uh, two very important announcements. I don't know anybody else. Yes, please. If you wouldn't mind, um, one other thing that was in the town administrator's report, which hasn't yet been addressed by, or I guess publicly by this town council, has been the recent uh, Maple Crest no parking order. Um, I know that that was very controversial when it came up. I myself was quite curious and did receive um, some complaints and concerns about how that process was handled. Um, not speaking for the town administrator, I will say that I did reach out to him to kind of understand the process as to why this came through. Um, the biggest thing that he had told me was aside from the residents complaining about how individuals were parking on that road there was a real concern about emergency services being able to access that area so i know at first it came off as um a little bit hostile maybe best way to phrase it um but i think it was done in good faith and i have full confidence in the town administrator's decision working with the chief of police and emergency services to you know put that order in effect so that's all thank you you're welcome okay I just wanted to comment real quick about the the um, splash pad and um, and the Lubberland uh, Creek. Both both of those, um, the splash pad. It, so it's more than just a splash pad, and it's it, we were awarded a grant of two hundred, almost two hundred thousand um, dollars, and then the town will need to to match those funds. Um, but it's a splash pad, uh, restroom facilities, which we haven't had. Um, out in the in the field and um, ADA compliant walkways so I think that it will add so much to our recreation department um, and to the offerings that that they have during the summer months and Amy I know how Amy um, Gigante has worked so hard on that project uh, and it's been uh, years year, two years probably yeah I think so it's been a long long process and so um, kudos to Amy for, for getting that done I'll, I'll just add that I understood that it was it was a very competitive process and for our recreation department to win that grant is says a lot says quite a lot about the level of <laughs> that they're working at so a lot of kudos there too okay very good. Uh, the, uh, I'd accept a motion to approve resolution 2018-19-14, uh, uh, which is selling surplus town property at 50 Exeter Road. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2018-2019-14. Second. Okay. Um, go ahead. It's safe to assume no changes between the last time this was brought to us and now? You mean between the first reading or? Uh, yeah, either between the town or the, uh, the, the individuals who are seeking to purchase the property. Yeah, I, I don't think so. It looks, I believe that's the same purchase price. Mm -hmm. I don't, I yes, think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't it, think there were, I just wanted to make sure. The reason I was just checking is, I don't know if any, most of the people on the council now weren't here, but they, they there was a, uh, 
there was an offer made by the same parties a couple years ago which was turned down by the council at that time and this is at a, a slightly higher price and everybody has so it seems like the right thing to do I think at this point so is there any other questions or comments please call the roll Councilor Dumont? Aye. Councilor Cast? Aye. Councilor Bowden? Aye. Councilor Weinstein? Aye. Councilor Pike? Aye. Motion passes 5 0. Okay. And then we have. Uh, Can I just make one comment? Sure. Um, I probably should have said it before we voted. I mean, it didn't, not that it matters uh, for the vote, but it's just nice to see, even though it's a small piece of, <laughs> of land. Um, it's been an ongoing discussion for the council to um, not be property owner, you know, not have mm -hmm. a lot of surplus property in town. And so every little bit counts. And to be able to put this back on the tax rolls is just really important. So I'm happy to do it. Yeah. Same here. Okay, I'm going to start by reading Resolution 2018-19-16, and they have a total of one, two, is it five? Five of them. Five of them to read, so <clears throat> here we go. Agreement with uh, wastewater treatment plant boiler replacement. Agreement, agreement with Patriot Mechanical withdrawal of sewer capital reserve funds. Whereas the wastewater treatment plant WWTP, 6,000 gallon underground fuel storage tank, <coughs> sprang a leak, leak and was removed. And whereas the WWTP 1969 boiler is inefficient and oversized, and whereas it is an opportune time to replace the 1969 boiler with a more efficient propane boiler, and whereas the sewer capital reserve fund balance is $1,177,040. $177,046. Now, therefore, let it be resolved the Town Council does hereby authorize the withdrawal of $91,250 from the Sewer Capital Reserve Funds and the Town Administrator to enter into an agreement with Patriot Mechanical to replace the WWTP 1969 boiler for the sum of $91,250. $250. Okay. Next one is... Resolution 2018-19-17, which is uh, authorizing the town administrator to enter into an agreement with energy e efficient investment to do, to do or perform energy upgrades to several town facilities, withdrawing $200,000 $200, from buildings and improvements capital reserve and $31,000 from operating funds for $1,244,563 in improvements. Where it has been determined that our town facility system has ex have exceeded their life expectancy, consists of underperforming operations, consumes excessive fuel, emits high levels of greenhouse gases, requires major repairs, lighting systems inefficiently operating, our building envelope needs sealing, insulation, and whereas the director of facility requested proposals for performance contracting services from energy efficient investments based on resolution 2017-18-25 for an energy audit services and whereas the town administrator recommends that the town council authorize a withdrawal of 200,000 from buildings and improvement capital reserve funds to help offset the costs of needed infrastructure repairs and upgrades enter into an agreement for $1,244,563 in non-appropriated leasing funds paid by energy reduction savings, authorizing operating funds of $31,400 to cover additional leaving, leasing costs. And now, therefore, let it be resolved by the New Market Town Council that the Town Council authorizes the town administrator withdraw to withdraw $200,000 from buildings and improvements capital reserve funds to help offset the costs of needed infrastructure, infrastructure repairs and upgrades, enter into an agreement for $1,244,563 with energy efficient investments for energy improvements and authorize operating funds of $31,400 to cover additional leasing costs within fiscal year 2019-20. 
And next up, twenty eighteen nineteen dash seventeen. Uh, res issuance of two million dollars in municipal bonds from McCallum Dam. Whereas the town of Newmarket wishes to renovate and modernize the McCallum Dam, and whereas GCA Engineering has estimated that it will take up to $2 million to complete that. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Newmarket Town Council that, town, that the Town Council agrees to place the following question on the March 20, 2019 town ballot to see if the town will vote to raise and appro appropriate the sum of $2 million gross budget for the purpose of renovating and modernizing the McAllen Dam and to authorize the issu issuance of not more than $2 million of bonds or notes in accordance with the provisions of the Municipal Finance Act, RSA 33, and to authorize the municipal officials to issue and negotiate such bonds or notes and to determine the rate of interest thereon. I just wanted to make sure we. If you can pass that along, just be a little bit more correct. There are a couple. There are a couple of few little uh, things as I read them that I was <laughs> kind stumbling of on. stumbling over because the yeah. the language doesn't flow. Let's say uh, it would be good. Okay. Uh, resolution twenty eighteen nineteen dash nineteen, which is. Issuance of $12.165 million in municipal bonds for water system improvements. Whereas the town of Newmarket wishes to renovate and modernize its water system, and whereas Wright Pierce Engineering has estimated that it will, uh, that it will, this is another example, that it will up to $12,165,000 to complete that. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Newmarket Town Council that the Town Council agrees to place the following question on the March 2019 town ballot to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $12,165,000 and no cents for the purpose of completing seven water distri distribution and treatment upgrade and extension project, Bennett and Sewell well facilities upgrade, water treatment for the McIntosh and Tucker wells, Tucker well construction, South Main Street water main replacement, new, new road main water main replacement, Bay Road water main replacement, and water main extension to Moody Point. Such sum to be raised by the issuance, issuance of serial bonds or notes not to exceed $12,165,000 under and in compliance with the provisions of the Municipal Finance Act and at New Hampshire RSA 33 colon 1 as amended, and to authorize the town council to issue and negotiate such bonds or notes and determine the date, term of payment, and rate of interest thereon. Further, to take such other actions as may be necessary to affect the issuance and negotiation, sale, or delivery of such bonds or notes as shall be in the best interest of the town of Newmarket, New Hampshire, additionally to authorize the town council to apply for, receive, and expend federal and state grants which may at any time become available in accordance with RSA 3195B, and also to apply for, receive, and expend monies from any other government, governmental unit or private source to be used for purposes which the town council may legally appropriate money. There will be no impact on the tax rate. And we have one more. Resolution 2018-19-20, authorizing the town administrator to enter into an agreement with ADG for economic development services, whereas the town of Newmarket wishes to contract for economic development services, and whereas the town received one proposal from ADG for said services. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Newmarket Town Council that the town council authorizes the town administrator to enter into a one-year agreement with ADG for Economic Development Consulting Services. 
and uh, that's all of the resolutions for first reading. Is there any correspondence that has been received to the town council? None. Is, uh, Councilor Dumont? Yeah, do you mind if I ask um, for 1819-20, is this our first step towards realizing the goals that we had set for ourselves a few months back, like the gateway projects, etc.? Yeah, I mean it's okay. It's it, there's been a lot of discussion about this position over, over even and it started before even those. So okay, um, but this is what we've been talking about for a while, and the the firm that is the sole bidder was also present when we had our joint meeting with the planning board. All right. So it's that's all, what I thought. I just wanted to clarify. It's all the same. Yes. Are there any closing comments by town councilors? Um, now that we're in December, it's hard to believe that our March elections are right around the corner, but they are. <laughs> um, and with the holidays and everything, it just goes by very, very quickly. Filing period um, for anyone interested in running for any open seats usually is the last, I, I don't have the exact dates, I don't know if they've been posted yet, but it's usually the last week of January into the first week of February. So, I mean, we're going to blink and it's going to be here, which is, again, hard to believe. So I just in, would encourage um, anyone who is considering any positions, whether it be town council or planning board or uh, budget committee, um, school board, reach out to people who are currently on the boards. I know that... Um, I'll, I'll speak for everyone. <laughs> I, think, I think everyone would be um, more than happy to talk to any member of the community who's interested in running, at least for the town council. And some of us have served on other boards, um, or you know whether that be having been elected to other boards or serving as um, representatives to some of the other boards that um, might be might have some open positions. So um, it's so important that we have involvement from the community in order to make our town better and make our government work. So that's my first of many pleas to the community. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, that would that is uh, a very important closing comment. Thank you. Any others? Well, uh, yeah, I'll just note that Dale and I were both at the Giving Tree, the, the lighting of the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a Giving Tree, sorry. In the in the town town center, and that was another very warm and nice event to kick off the season. It was a little chilly, but <laughs> there was uh, candles and, and some hot food to go around and warm spirits. So, so it was very yeah. My and compliments on the folks that organized that. Well, and I was going to just say that was another example of Amy doing yeoman work, which mm -hmm. she so often does. Uh, I think the, the Boy Scout, Scout Troop was also involved yeah, pretty, pretty yeah. closely. And then the, uh, the police department arrived with some presents to put under, under the tree as well. Yeah. And I hope I'm not forgetting anybody else, but I probably am. So thank you for that, too. Well, from the Patty Myerson from the yes, community yes, church. Yes, yes. Yes, led some carols and yeah, some, yeah. yeah. They had a, a joint choir from, what is this? Yeah, is it Pam? It's usually Pam. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. so it was a very nice event yep. and, and much better weather than we've had other times. When <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years ago, That's I think true. it was, it was just poured. <laughs> 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 Nothing quite like 35 degrees and soaking wet. It just uh, Oh, and the town administrator was there too. Yes, was, yes he was. Yeah. Yep. And, and Amy, uh, Councilor Burns was there, I know. Uh, oh, I didn't briefly. see her. I didn't see her until I was leaving, but she was <laughs> okay. there. So. Well, everybody was there that, that yeah. was there. It was great. Okay. Seeing no other comments, I think we can call the meeting adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.